So what is twang and how do you add twang to your voice for power? That's what we're going to talk about today. Welcome to Sing Geek. Hi singers and welcome to Sing Geek. My name is Ronya Peterson and I'm here to geek out on your voice. So if you're here today, maybe you heard of this twang for singing. Uh, you're not completely sure what it is or how to add it to your voice. There's two different kinds of twang that people talk about a lot. There's the twang that makes your voice louder and then there's the twang that's this sort of nasally southern accent. So just to clarify, the twang that we're talking about today is the twang that amplifies your voice. So let's just dive right in. First, we're going to look at what twang is and how it works for your voice. And then afterwards, we're going to do some practice to help you add twang to your voice. Now, if you already know what twang is and you just really want to dive into the exercises, they're right here at this time. Right here next to me, you see the larynx, AKA the voice box. And inside the voice box are your best friends, your vocal folds, they vibrate to make beautiful sound uh, when you sing with your voice, right? Now, at the top of the larynx, we see this guy called the epiglottis. And uh, what happens when you twang is that the epiglottis, it lowers itself down a little bit, and then it compresses the sound waves that comes from your vocal folds. You can compare it to a garden hose. You know when you pinch a garden hose and the water spurts out more quickly? That is basically the same function here that happens with your sound. So it happens after the sound has been created in the vocal folds. And that is what's so great because that's a healthy way to manipulate your sound. The main function of this guy, the epiglottis, is actually to close down all the way when you eat and swallow your food so that you don't get food into your windpipe. But we as singers are much less interested in how the epiglottis prevents us from choking and much more interested in how we can use the epiglottis to add twang to our voice. That was some great geeking out on your voice. Okay, so now that you know what twang is, let's practice adding it to your voice. Twang is best practiced by imitating sounds with a lot of twang. So go somewhere where you can be a little loud because we're gonna be loud right now. We're going to overdo the twang with some fun sounds uh, and then afterwards we're going to practice taking a little bit of it off to, to get rid of that harshness. The first sound that we're going to make is the sound of a crying baby. So uh, let's do it together. Here we go. Yeah, I hope the mic uh, didn't go crazy there because it's very loud here where I am. Did you feel that harshness? Um, if you were able to imitate it, it should feel quite effortless, but very loud. And that's what's so cool about it. So let's try it one more time. Yeah, very nice. Okay, this next sound is a very common one to practice twang with as well. Uh, we're going to say the sound of a sheep. I promise I'm not playing a joke on you. Uh, this is a little silly, but you will be so happy when you get your twang. So let's do it together. So here we go. Me, 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 me. Yeah, a lot of twang, a lot of loud on that one. One more time. Me, me. Yeah, very good. The last sound we're going to imitate right now is actually the sound of a person. We're going to imitate Janice from Friends. Chandler's girlfriend, maybe you know her. She has a lot of twang in her voice and she is great to imitate if you're practicing adding twang. So. Uh, maybe you remember her going like, nah, oh, Chandler, nah, yeah, that's uh, how she sounds. Uh, I, I can make a link in the description uh, to a short clip of her if you want to see it. Uh, but that is also a great sound to imitate to practice your twang. <laughs> now that you're able to say sounds with twang, let's experiment with adding twang and taking twang away from a note. This way you're able to experiment with it and get the amount of twang that you like in your voice. So first we're going to add twang to a note. Yeah, yeah so I went from no twang to like getting really insisting. One more time. Yeah. Okay, now let's practice starting with a lot of twang and then getting rid of some of it until you get to the point where you really like the tone that you have. So 
Uh, I recommend that you put your hands like this. Uh, you've maybe seen this is, uh, in some of my other videos, but this is how your voice sounds to everyone else. So if you sing like this, it's a really good way to get the scope of your tone. Um, so let's try it out. Here we go. Right there. Let's try it again. Right there. I I feel like there's still a lot of volume. There's still that ping from the twang, but it is not so harsh. Um, when you do this, really focus on your jaw. Don't go like this. Go like this, right? Yeah, I made another video about it right here. Relax that jaw. When you go like this, it also helps you to dampen your larynx a little bit and, and that helps getting rid of some of that harshness. Um, it's actually something that a lot of singers that they do is that they will add twang for the power and then they will adjust the larynx down a little bit to get rid of the harshness. So if you're interested in more about larynx control, let me know in the comments below. Learning to sing with twang was really one of those moments in my vocal journey where I remember that I just, I took a huge step because until that, I was not able to make these loud sounds. I was able to get some of it with resonance. Resonance is also very important, and there's a video about it right here. But Twang added that color that I would hear in the popular songs, but I didn't know how to get it. Um, so I really recommend that you practice your Twang. There's a playlist right here next to me with Twang exercises, and it will keep growing as I add more videos to it. There's also a button right here below me uh, it's a subscribe button and you can click it if you like. I would love to invite you to subscribe to Sing Geek. We geek out on your voice every week to create the sound that you want. Me! Yeah? I promise I'm not playing a joke on you. I hope the mic is not dying right now. Oh my god,